All right, we have a bonus video for you here. This is going to be Ping Lu versus Lycanroc. Uh, both these decks have already had a little bit of the spotlight. Lycanroc kind of been shunted to the side a little bit. Uh, we know it's not an especially good deck, but we wanted to give it a chance to give a little last hurrah. And Ting Lu has not had enough of the spotlight, so it's going to get some. <laughs> um, so if Lycanroc gets a little bit, Ting Lu gets a little bit. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go and start off with the Lycanroc deck profile. This is the same one we profiled a month ago, two months ago. It's been, it's, it's been forever. So we're going to have a 4-4 line of Lycanroc. This is the first week that we started testing, yeah, right? it was the very first one. So we're, we're bookending this. So for a single fighting energy, you have Rock Throw. And then for fighting double, double colorless, you do 140. Uh, during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack... Even if it is knocked out, put 10 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So, you have to rope the crap out of Lycanroc Rock if you don't want to eat some damage counters. We are running a 2-2 B-Barrel line with the Carefree Countenance B-Barrel. These are no, or b Feather. These are no longer proxies, yay. Uh, <coughs> my, they, they finally came in. Uh, we are also running two copies of Galarian Zapdos from Evolving Skies. Uh, with the Strong Legs Charge ability, when you play this Pokemon down from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may touch up to two Fighting Energies from your hand to this Pokemon. So just a little bit of a bonus. Try to get it powered up. And then it has Zapper Kick to 70 damage. For Fighting, Fighting Colorless, you may discard all energy from this Pokemon if you do this Pokemon. Your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed. So it gives it a little option to try to uh, stall out a turn in case we can't get Lycanroc to do what it needs to do. We are running a copy of Drapion V. And a copy of Radiant Alakazam. Radiant Alakazam, allowing us to manipulate damage counters so that if we don't necessarily need the full amount of damage, we can uh, ensure that we have the correct amount of damage and can use the extra damage elsewhere. All right, now for the support po uh, support line, we have three copies of Professor's Research, two three copies of Iono, two copies of Boss Orders. Very simple, very straightforward support lineup for a very simple, very straightforward deck. And then for item cards, we have four copies of Gutsy Pickaxe. This gives us a little bit of digging power so we can draw, basically draw a card. And if it's a fighting energy, we can throw it on one of our benched, uh, benched Pokemon, which is pretty nice. Because we can get an extra energy onto Lycanroc, make it powered up a little bit faster. And we need to set up because we're a deck and we like to do that. So we are running four copies of Nest Ball. And four copies of Ultra Ball to do that. Can and we talk about my luck with Gutsy Pig Yeah, and your luck in general. And then two copies of Escape Rope, one copy of Fisuian Heavy Ball, one copy of Palpad, one copy of Super Rod, and then three copies of Rock Chest Plate. So Rock Chest Plate gives us a little bit of extra survivability. Super Rod gives us the option to recover some of our attackers. We are very low reliant on Lycan Rock specifically in this deck. Uh, or if we need Zapdos for whatever reason, again, we can get that back. And then his Heavy Ball allows us to grab Drapion in a matchup against Mew, or perhaps for any Alakazam. We find that's really important for the matchup. This gives us options to make sure that we have them. And then we are a Path deck. We are running three copies of Path of the Peak and a copy of Temple of Sinnoh. So um, Lycanroc may not be the best deck, but it actually does stand a decent chance against Sing Lu. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> If it doesn't brick, maybe we're all right. We Give have it to Christian and he'll tail oh, he'll make a brick. brick. Um, but we do have three copies of Path to Peak, and Tingu does not like Path to Peak. So well, if it sees it, if it sees it, yeah, that's that's another thing too. Got to see it in order to hit it. Uh, all right, so we have freaking eight copies of Fighting Energy and four copies of Double Turbo Energy. This is Lycanroc. This is the deck that Tingu is going to have to face now. Let's see that Ting Lu. Alright, so, um, as me and a few other people have found out, we do like Ting Lu. It's a fun deck, for sure. Ting, Ting Lu is definitely fun. Uh, so, Ting Lu is a new Pokemon with Paldea Evolve. Uh, for those that don't know, its ability, Earth and Curse, is as long as this Pokemon is in an active spot, your opponent's Pokemon that have any damage counters on them have no abilities except for Pokemon X. And then it's land scoop attack. For three fighting, does 150. 
and then you put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench poke Pokemon. I got the hiccups all of a sudden. <laughs> um, then we have two copies of Holucha um, to help spread damage. Spread that love. And then we got two copies of Bulk Boy uh, being right on X. <laughs> In this boy. deck, not so much Bulk boy because he is actually a acceleration pokemon pretty decent um on. then we have two uh squawkabilly squawkabilly yeah. x uh with it show off ability where once during your first turn you may discard your hand and draw six cards you can't use more than one um show off each turn if you're wondering why we're running two just higher ha chance of getting it, and hopefully one of them not being prized. Yeah, because if you don't hit Squawk Ability turn one, your chances of succeeding are not super good. Then we have one Radiant Alakazam to spread damage, and one Spear Tomb, as we have found out, works wondrously against uh, Lumenian and other Vs, because uh, it's Pitch Black Disaster ability, is as long as this Pokemon is in play, it doesn't have to be in the active, Basic Pokemon V in play, both yours and your opponents have no abilities. If you're wondering how you get around it with a Mew, as a Mew player, just play Fusion Strike Mew. Just play Fusion Mew. Um, and that's it for the Pokemon. Then we have our trainers, being four copies of Professor's Research, two copies of Iono, Two copies of Judge, so a little bit of disruption here, uh, especially from that Iono, because it is just brutal. Especially late game. Um, then we have two bosses order, and then four copies of Gutsy Pickaxe. Hmm. This is the Spider-Man meme right here. <laughs> so, um, bit of similarity. Four copies of Nest Ball. Four copies of Ultra Ball. Three copies of trekking shoes. Why don't you have trekking shoes in there? I don't know. I didn't manage to shove it in. <laughs> trekking shoes is my signature. Apparently, I shove it in everything. But look, uh, two ropes. <laughs> two two escape ropes. Uh, yeah, two switch, switch carts. carts. I kind of hate how yours are reverse and mine mine aren't. <laughs> uh -huh. Two Charm of Courage. Charm of Courage is a new uh, Pokemon tool coming out. The basic Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 50 HP. We well, do you know the official name of that card is Bravery Charm. So when you're, <clears throat> when you're pulling your packs, or when you're sorting through your packs, look for Bravery Charm. That's the card you're looking for. Then we have one EXP share. We have two Gape Jog Bogs. And then we have one Collapse Stadium. And then we have 13 Fighting Energy. That's a couple. So. All right, those are the deck profiles. We're getting a shuffle back, uh, shuffled up, and we'll be right back. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. It is tails. I will go first. Ready? All right, Santiago. Well, there you are. <laughs> I would have preferred that. What I have. I feel like it's a uh, Radiant Alakazam start. What's the... I would have preferred that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Drapion start then. Oh, can you let Mariana on? Yeah. You're not. I mean, to be fair, we do have the door shut quite a bit. Do you have a basic? All right, I'm going to draw the mulligan. Yeah, 
Yeah. Punch line. I mean, it don't matter. The hand's getting nuked. He's going to play the best of them. This is terrible. <laughs> the worst possible start for Lycan Rock. Lycan Rock doesn't get any love, I guess. Honestly, because this is this hand is honestly just on getting nuked. Armor courage. Courage. Collapsed. And go off. Checking. Oh. Basic fighting. And... Gutsy. Gutsy. Oh, you're discarding it. Okay. Oh, you're playing it. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Chain Wu. No spawn. Right on. How many fighting do you have in this card right now? One. Scene. Checking. Treat Dino Cry. All right, Jeff, I don't see I can dig my way out of this. Good top deck, at least. <laughs> Ouch. I don't know. Cool. One card on the bottom. <laughs> the thing is, if we didn't have that card, I wouldn't even be able to play it. Really? It's just like Marnie. In that respect, we at least one player has to put some animals on the deck. He 
he's doing in Heavy so Ball. So if I didn't have a card in my hand, you wouldn't be able to play yeah, it? Because that was the last card in my hand. Lucha, Pinging, Alkazam, and Assuming. The, the one that's got the energy. Um, that's fun. Radiant Alkazam. Then I'm going to. Judge. Judge is here. <laughs> he is currently an orange fluffy cat. You mean pancake cat? Pancake, yeah, little pancake. He was like, can you? It was just one. And I said, nah, I'm okay for 20 minutes. This is the time. This is the best of one bonus video featuring Rock and Team Lou. And Rock went ahead and started Drapion. Yes. Drop turn. Evolve. Attach. Research. That's cool. See. Let's see. <clears throat> we are going to land scoop and we will put 
two damage counters on. Wait, did we split this last time? Is that what we did? It was a holy show. Okay, that's what it makes more sense. <laughs> two on the Duke. Okay. Drapion is knocked out. I cannot go to the after spot. Chop turn. Chop turn. Did it just come down here? Yeah, he was the dead man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? What? Why? I mean, I'm fine if you want it gone. He's benching it. Um, it's it's <laughs> a bench Pokemon. Now. It's it's one of those newfangled mega Pokemon. That was dumb. I for some reason I thought the attack cost was one one. And I was like, why why double colorless? Or why double double weather? That makes more sense. Alrighty then. Um hmm. Ultra Ball and discard a nest. That's just the sizes for two. Two. Putting rock chest plate to like rock. And we're gonna rock throw for ten. Because I can't read. Really just ten? Sorry, not ten forty. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, I miss I miss the energy. I should have done that way differently. That's probably gonna cost me my lightning rock actually. It's really bad. I believe the only correct response to seeing an energy attached to Coridon is, ah, hell no. Painful spoons, one from B barrel to the read it right here. There. 
active I can rock. Send it one here? Yeah. <clears throat> And then we will land scoop for 120 because you take 30 less. Right. Um, and we will put two on the bench like in a row. Tap turn. What do you mean if I'm also attaching energy to cried on you're like, oh yeah, no. Yeah, no. All because I messed up that energy attachment. Ugh. Scary things for one forty. It should have been a KO because it should have been a scary thing, scary things. Actually, him hitting him in the all would have been a KO. Mm -hmm. I disapprove of your shenanigans. <laughs> Wait, did you put the 10 damage counters on the tank roof? And last turn when you attacked into that one? No, because I didn't oh, add anything with it. Because yeah. I messed up the energy attachment. Switch part. And then I'm going to switch it into the Halucha and manually retreat the Halucha. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to got two men. Actually, that doesn't make it a difference if I switch carded or not. I mean, you don't take ten. Huh? You don't take the 10 damage and recoil with the damage counters. Yeah, you do. So no, this... so this put on the bench. Uh, the oh, no, no, it is on Mike and Rock. Never yeah. mind, never mind. Okay. If it is on Mike and Rock. Let's that up then. Um... Honestly, because I messed that up, I feel like most might not be the correct play, but Dino Cry. Okay. It's a choice. Draw four turn. Bench. And you put two on the yes, because you just allowed. Does it make KO either way, right? Using F two ninety. Yeah. So you ask your things into KO. Mm 
some sense. You can tell, like, you know, hasn't gotten gloved me off screen testing. Because we're like, oh, God, that's right. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, all freaking game. He's like a Turtonator EX. We're going to Painful Spoons 20 from Matt Lycan Rock to be active. Okay. So you'll take ten, or, or yeah, because you're yeah. hitting me. So you'll take ten. And then we are going to wild impact. GX. Yeah, shell trap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Attach. Cool. Half mm -hmm. the peak. There's a hundred and a ten. Mm -hmm. It's ten damage counters. Oh. It's, a <laughs> it's, it's quite nastier than that, yeah. <laughs> It's significantly nastier. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, I, was like, I was like, what, what, do, what do you mean? What are you doing? <laughs> that was an O moment. <laughs> We've all had some of those. Because so it's like, what, what, what are you doing? Like, what? And then, like, <laughs> you heard, like, kidding me. They asked, like, wait, what? That's a wizard. <clears throat> Let's see. What? How much Asian food is this one? 220 or 230? 230. Let's see. To be thy top deck. No, really not. No, for me, it is. <laughs> no. Because what's currently screwing me is those chest plates. What's screwing me is a stupid whiff of energy. Uh, you only play six, right? Six fighting? I think it's eight. Isn't it? <sighs> Blessed be thy top deck. All right. Um, switch part. Escape rope. And boss's order. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's game. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. so that was the top deck I needed. Yeah. Because I, I had that. you on my hand. Mm -hmm. And there were still oh, in deck. Okay. They didn't two, come two in. Left. Yeah. yeah. And then one was priced. But yeah. That I if I hadn't messed up that one turn I might have actually had a shot. You would have won. He would he just has a team to keep up with that. Yeah. But I, I messed that up horribly. So, damn. I mean, was the correct play that one turn because, like, I had, like, misplayed the... miscalculated oh, the, the dino heal? Was, the dino card was good. No, the dino card was definitely good. I yeah. didn't Because, like, uh, like, either way, you were going to knock me out, so not having a backup attacker for the following... Yeah, 100% you go with dino card. Yeah. My, the, the thing is, I, I like, like, uh, I missed an attack. I'm missing, missing a decent attack 
I, I basically just threw the game down. It's just really sad. I have to put this back in order. <laughs> but I think Tiffany right. definitely struggles well, against the tank decks. And this is fairly tanky, even though it's a stage one. I I, I just want to, like... I want to play Caparage already. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, that is that is Ting Lu and Lycanroc. Hopefully you can forgive our our clumsy misplays in this particular video. Uh, but hope you enjoyed this either way. Kind of go a look at... A little bit more of a look at Ting Lu and look at uh, Lycanroc. Kind of dusting off Lycanroc and letting it come out to play again. I guess like we were saying during the game... Didn't get a whole lot of love in off-screen testing. It's it's one of the decks that's been, definitely been neglected, but we did want to kind of revisit it and just, just have a little bit of fun with it. It's definitely more of a casual deck, but as you saw there, it kind of put up a bit of a fight against Ting Lu, so, yeah, it's not awful. It's definitely it's just... put up a more of a fight against Ting Lu than most of the matchups against Ting Lu it's, off-screen. That's actually done. very true. Most of the stuff I, 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 I going against Ting Lu off-screen was... Uh... I mean, to be <laughs> fair, most of the stuff that we've tested against Ting Lu off-stream also doesn't rely on path. abilities, yeah. so... It doesn't have path. And, and, and like and Rock doesn't really rely on abilities and has a path, so, um, yeah. Anyway, if you guys if you liked the video, please like it. Um, if you didn't like the video, please tell us in the description so we can improve. Obviously, we're not the uh, highest tech channel, but we're uh, we're working on it. We're trying to improve constantly. So, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one.